Hi everyone, this is Terry. I had a member of my Facebook group ask if I could share some information about a hammer foot. Mine is a seven millimeter foot and I do keep all of these little documents that I, I get with my feet and store them away with each of the feet because it will, it, it will show you what the setup instructions are. But I did a little bit of research before this video because I've used hammer, hammer feet on other brands of machine and I wanted to see if the process was more or less the same and, and it is. There are two or three different methods that you can use to get started on the hem. One is you can use something like a Solvi and you can stitch on it so that you can get the roll started and then start on your fabric. The other way of using the, the hem or foot is to take a needle and fold under that quarter of an inch and start on the end. And if you look at this example here, and this is the first time I've used one of these in a long time, you'll see that I have a really nice looking hem and a, a straight stitch. You can also use a zigzag with this foot because you can see that it has the wide opening and you'll also notice that there's a channel in the back. Now this channel right through here is one eighth of an inch. So if you're using it, this on chiffon and you happen to use a zigzag stitch or one of the hemming stitches, it's an overcast stitch, you'll find that it will roll the hem. Maybe not so much on this cotton quilting fabric that I'm using. So we're going to get set up and I want to show you a couple of things. So let me go ahead and put the foot on the machine and that just snaps on. We can take that thread through the channel right here on the side. There we go. And like one of the things that you have to think of is first of all, you want to have a clean edge. You'll notice this side has a lot of pokies, I call them. So you want to start with a clean edge. And I do have a few little pokies on this side, but that's, we'll just deal with that. We're going to fold it over about an eighth of an inch. And I'm just guessing at this, because here's a quarter of an inch right here. You have the guide on your machine, on your stitch plate. So you can see visually what a quarter of an inch will be. Take half of that amount, fold it over, use your finger to finger press it, then go ahead and fold over another portion of it. Now, it's a good idea to go ahead and do this farther down and then take a straight pin and use that straight pin to secure your fabric. If you want, you can use some spray starch to help you. My machine is currently set up right now with a straight stitch with the default left right shift and a stitch length of 2.5 and I'm using stitch 103 and, and of course we're using the narrow hammer foot. So what we want to do is look in that opening. It's somewhat uh, difficult for me because I'm sitting so far from my machine while I'm recording videos. Go ahead and put your presser foot down and I want you to take a couple of stitches and I think I need to move my fabric over just a little bit. Okay, let's go ahead and take uh, like two or three stitches. One, two, three. Now, with an, I'm going to leave my needle down. I love the fact that we can raise the, the back of this foot using that presser foot lift. And now what I want to do is more or less guide my fabric into that channel. If your fabric's not over that section and you don't want it over too far, it's not going to roll. So we'll just keep it so it's going in that channel. And like everything with sewing, this takes a little bit of practice. So don't get frustrated if it doesn't work the first time. Do it a couple of times and you'll get good at it. So I'm speeding up some. When you are working and you're going to, let's say, hem a napkin, and what you need to do with something like that is you need to stitch off the end and then start again. Cut the thread. 
and let's look at the results. Now this is straight out of the machine. It's the second time that I've stitched using this particular foot in a long time. And you can see that all of this looks very nice. You can flip over and see the back as well. It makes a beautiful hem. So let's try one other thing. We mentioned that you can use a zigzag stitch. So I'm going back to my menu one and I'm going to select my zigzag stitch that is right and I'll change my width to, I'll leave it at three and a half millimeters and we'll see what happens. Now I did not change my stitch length on this. It's at 1.4, I probably uh, would want to change that stitch length, but we're just practicing so we'll know what it looks like. And we'll cut our thread. So this is the look you would have if you are using the zigzag stitch. And that's with a stitch width of 3.5 and which is half of the width of that channel. And I left my stitch length on 1.4. If you lengthen your stitch length, I think you're going to ha have a nice looking edge. This is the overcast. I really don't like that at all. And here's our straight hemming. I hope this video has been helpful. I'm Terry Maffitt. If you like my videos, please like and subscribe to my channel and join me on Facebook and Just Stitching with the Brother Luminaire. Thank you and have a wonderful day.